Okay, quick video here on uh, Label Connector new feature. Uh, we're now supporting uh, build assemblies uh, for printing labels. Um, at this point, uh, many of you may be using build assemblies for some more complicated applications with QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, and you know, when you're working with build assemblies, um, that you've got like a build assembly number. Let me pull up that screen here for you. Um, for example, if we go back to one here that comes with the samples from QuickBooks, uh, if you put in the build assembly number, uh, we're going to be able to pull up, pull up all the details for the build assembly, and we'll be initially supporting fields like the item that's the main build, build assembly item, the description, uh, custom item fields for that main uh, build assembly item number, um, many of the header values that are in the uh, build assembly itself and the serial number. Um, we'll also be adding support um, you know, depending on how much interest we get on the feature uh, for printing labels for many of the child items uh, that are kind of a part of the build assembly. Uh, but you can see our user interface uh, for this particular build assembly. If you just put the build assembly number in and press get order We'll pull that up for you um, and allow you to print you know, labels referencing that build number. A couple other background features that we've added to this um, is the creation of macros. Uh, the first step to kind of setting that up is you would just go into our general settings and you would define a folder where you want to keep these macros uh, stored. And I'll get into what those are in a moment here. Uh, but basically, uh, you go into the build assembly settings screen, and if you've designed a, a couple of build assembly type templates in our designer, um, then you can select those uh, to include them in kind of like a running, almost like order of a, a number of templates that would get printed at various quantities. And you can go ahead and just like add those pre-designed templates from our designer, pull them down into the macro here. Let's say you wanted to have like, you know, uh, two labels for this particular template and three labels printed for this one, then this would become like a job that would run uh, to do like a, a whole array of different uh, templates from our designer in various quantities, and that can run as a macro and you can save this. And we're going to actually be more about to expand this so you can kind of save several macros, give them a name, um, so that then when you're printing, you can then go into our uh, printing screen. And when you pull up the order, you'll be able to just select which macro by name. And they'll just have a little drop down here. You could name it like, you know, main panel macro or, you know, uh, XYZ motor macro, like if you have an item where you have to put, you know, a few different labels onto it that can be a complex item, we can support that now for you um, with build assemblies. So just wanted to get that update to you. So you basically have to go in here and um, start a new label design and you would select, you know, a build assembly type label. Um, and you can see here where you can quickly just create that new type of template. And then you can add various text fields and many of the fields that we support now you know would be listed there a lot of these are the custom item fields uh, that you know um, complicated items could have quite a bit of data you know in their custom item fields definitions so like if you're uh, for those of you that aren't using those now if you go down into like an item let's and you just pull any item up, you can define custom item fields um, in this screen. And you can kind of set up all kinds of ratings and voltages and parameters for an item in the custom item field. So we support those for printing on the build assembly label as well. So if you have any uh, other questions, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to AccuWare at 630-858-8409. Zero 09 give us a call to discuss doing build assembly labels thank you thank you